This lesson is on the basics of doubles strategies. The vast majority of pickleball is played as doubles. It is relatively easy to cover your side of the court as your area is 10 feet wide and 15 feet up to your non-volley zone line. One of the reasons that pickleball is growing so rapidly is the founders of the game want players to get out and hit the ball back and forth. You get one serve and it must be hit underhand. There is a two bounce rule which means that the ball must bounce once on each side of the net before either team may hit the ball in the air as a volley. The first bounce comes after the serve and the second bounce comes after the return of serve. The second shot of a point is a return of serve and this shot can bounce anywhere on the opponent's court. It is best to hit it down the middle and about five feet inside the baseline. The position of the four players is based on the two bounce rule. Since the ball must bounce on both sides of the net before it can be hit on the fly, the serving team positions both players behind the baseline. Traditionally, the returning team plays, places one player up at their non-volley zone line before the serve is hit. The player hitting the return of serve hits the ball and moves up to their non-volley zone line on their side of the court. This is not a rule, but taught by most players as the right way to play. Bear in mind, if you don't know how to hit a volley or simply want to hit ground strokes, you can play back. This makes the formation of the four players prior to the third shot with two players up and two players back. The team up has the advantage because hitting the ball closer to the net results in more balls getting over the net and once you develop a volley, you control the point. The two players of the serving team are now faced with hitting the third shot. The two main shots are a drive or a drop shot, but a third option is a lob. Drives are a much easier shot to hit to keep the ball in play. The target area of the service boxes is 300 square feet, so hit a drive to make your opponents hit a volley. You will have to be able to move quickly to their volleys. The other option is a drop shot where the target area is your opponent's kitchen. Realistically, the target area is about 60 square feet. To hit the ball into this short and small target area requires a better skill set and lots of practice to develop the drop shot. What many pickleball players do is hit a drive and move forward because they have been told you should get to the non volleys line as soon as possible. The problem with moving forward on your drive is your opponents will be hitting a volley and their volley will pose a problem. You will have to have quick hands to defend against your opponent's volleys and great touch to place your shots into their kitchen. Here is a video of 5.0 senior players who are all in the Hall of Fame. The serving team keeps the ball in play and they stay back because the first few shots are too high to effectively move forward on. Once a volley is hit short, that allows a drop shot to be hit into the opponent's kitchen, they move up together to their non volley zone line. It is difficult to hit a winning shot with two mobile players back. However, it is certainly a more winning strategy to get up to your non volley zone line. When you hit a drive, consider it to be like when you hit your serve. Your opponent will hit a return of serve and you play their return after the ball bounces. So when you hit a drive, play their volley after the ball bounces. For good intermediate players, you can play a solid defense if you have good mobility. The team receiving the serve rarely gets aced. The serving team rarely has a winning return of serve hit against them. Each player only has to guard their side of the court. Don't fall into the poor strategy of moving forward after every ball that you hit. Your opponent's volley may very well be hit at you forcefully and will present difficult shots. For the best players, the main strategy is to hit the ball into your opponent's kitchen with a drop shot and move up quickly. This forces your opponents into hitting up on your low shot to clear the net, and if the ball is hit up too hard or high, you have an advantage as you will be hitting a high volley. Drop shots are commonly said that they neutralize the point. I encourage you to develop a consistent drive and play your opponent's volleys after the ball bounces. When the volley lands short, then move forward and hit a drop shot into their kitchen and move up to your non-volley zone line. 
Equally important is to develop a drop shot so you can move more safely up to your non-volleys online. Of course, if you are an advanced player, you can hit a drive and move forward and play all the different volleys of your opponents. These players are described as having great hands and nice touch as they return the difficult balls being hit to them. Once the serving team has worked their way up to the non-volley zone line, the four players now should have developed the very important shot called a dink. The dinks are short drop shots that land in your opponent's kitchen. Since the ball bounces lower than the net, you must hit up on the ball to clear the net. If the ball is hit up too high or too far, the opponents have an opportunity to hit in that hard attacking shot. When the dink is hit well and lands in the kitchen, the player hitting the next shot has three basic choices. You can hit a dink into your opponent's kitchen, which forces them to hit up on the ball. You can hit the ball at one of your opponents to challenge their volley. Or you can hit a lob over their heads. At the very best levels of play, all four players have good volleys, so long dink rallies of placing your shots in front of your opponent's feet take place. A saying that communicates the truth of this aspect of pickleball is, dink responsibly, don't get smashed. A high percentage of players will hit an attacking shot, so when you are up at your non-volley zone line, you must have quick hands and good volleys, which is described as having good hands. In order to employ different strategies, you have to know how to hit different shots. The developing player starts with ground strokes, called drives, and progresses to serves, returns to serves, third shot drives, third shot drops, third shot dining room shots, volleys, half volleys, dinks, lobs, and overheads. To be a complete player, you want to learn and develop the different shots. Each shot has a target area, and your strategies, shot selection, and skill set should be used to place your shots accordingly. A classic analogy would be a golfer. Golfers have a bag with different clubs to be used for the different shots on the golf course. Good pickleball players have developed different shots in order to hit the ball accurately in order to achieve ball placement. Practice the different shots by starting off a rally with that technique. Focus on the placement of each shot. Try your best to eliminate unforced errors and keep the ball in play. If you're playing recreational games against weaker players, play some games to place your shots, extend the point, and that will be lots of fun for all the players on the court.